word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, Ephesians 3, 9 and 10 has a greater lesson for us to be declared. To the intent that the principalities and the powers and the rulers and the authorities might know through the church the much variegated color wisdom of God is the main purpose. The gnoristo which has been used in the Greek has a greater connotation to tell, to declare, to represent with authority, to show forth what it is that our Lord has intended by the church to be made known to the angels which come to learn about redemption and the angels which come to learn about the polity of privileges given for us. Many of the people who have not understood the simple truth have made church a dunghill. They have made a place of legalism. They have made a place of self-righteousness, of arrogance. And they have in fact even indeed made a place of greater carnality. It is very shame for us to note the eternal purpose of God, the true purpose of God, that the church has to be a ground and pillar of truth, has been absolutely nullified. And today the men have lost the real importance of doctrine in the pulpits, and they have exchanged the glory for the lie which is not at all true. So dear brethren, think over these issues as we shall continue in the next tape. Father, we are grateful for the privilege of us given to fellowship with through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit will us on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.